Whoever gone into the store and saw these beautiful hanks of Karen Pantonex yarn and wondered how you would get it from the beautiful braid into balls of workable yarn? Well, today I'm going to show you how. Stay tuned. Hi, this is Dana of Days Crochet, and today I'm going to show you a quick trick that I discovered whenever I am unrolling and balling a hank of the Karen Pantone X. This particular one is called River Rock, I believe, and it is one of my favorites. So if you're like me, you've seen these on the wall and you're like, oh, those are just so beautiful, but you dread the thought of putting them into a ball. I'm gonna show you just real quickly what I do. So you're gonna wanna find either end, it's usually this one here, that will release the hank. Let me make sure I'm telling you right. It's actually this one. So find the end of the hank, which is usually where the tag is located, by the way. And you're going to take the first color off and open it up and find the top knot here. And then you're just gonna snip it open. You could untie it if you want to, but I'm too impatient. So be very careful and snip it open. And um, I usually cut off the knot just because I don't wanna have to fool with it. So once you open it, you're going to loosely mess around with it <laughs> until you get it to where it's facing out. And what I mean is the, the strand that was holding it together is easily accessible. So it's looking like it's wanting to be a pain in the butt on that strand. So let me see if I can find the other strand. Newsflash, it's a pain in the butt regardless. <laughs> but this is the simplest way I have found. I have show, I've seen um, different videos where they tell you to wrap it around your leg or wrap it around a, okay, here's the other end. Wrap it around a glass, a couple of glasses or two objects or whatever. But this is just the easiest way for me that I have found, okay? So once you get it all straightened out and kind of, you know, even, I just simply loop it on my wrist like this and I begin to make a ball. Now I'm right-handed, so you can do it the opposite way if you're left-handed but I begin to make the ball and then I just start taking the end and flipping it off of my wrist as I go. So here I go with that. So I'm unwrapping it off of my wrist as I use the same hand to make it into a ball. Um, I have tried it, the whole wrapping around my leg thing and I wanted to scream. This is still not foolproof. You'll still have to fool with it a little, but nothing like whew, the other methods I've tried. I always ended up just about wanting to throw it in the trash. And you know, this is an expensive yarn, so you don't wanna, <laughs> you obviously don't wanna throw it in the trash. But as you can see, it's working out very nicely by just simply unwrapping it from my wrist. The most important part is when you are first putting it on your wrist, making sure it's kind of like level. Like you see how the strands are kind of in order here? You don't want them rolled up. Otherwise, you'll still have a mess. So sometimes I'm, I'm pulling around the bottom here to untangle because it seems to want to catch like the bottom. So I'm going underneath to try and unwrap the bottom. And as you can see, it does not take long. I'm getting close to being done. When I first started doing this, I did it around my knee. <laughs> and my, my, my knee and my foot, I want to say, it was something like that. And it would take me forever just to do one ball and it would get so tangled up, 
I just thought there has to be a simpler way. And I honestly have not seen anyone else do it this way. So I thought, well, you know what? I better let other people know um, that there is an easier way to do this. And so here we are. It's taken about five minutes from start to finish, and, it, and that was part of me talking. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.